Hello and welcome to another Hike Vision video tutorial. In this video, we will be learning how to install and configure the IVMS 4200 for Mac computers. First, open up a web browser and navigate to our website at ushikevision.com. Then hover over support, hover over downloads, then click on software, scroll down and click on IVMS 4200. Here you will again scroll down and under software download, click on IBM S4200 for Mac and hit agree to download the installer. You'll want to make absolutely sure to download the IBM S4200 that specifically says it is for Mac computers. The other version will only work for Windows PCs. Once downloaded, click the file to launch the installer. You may be greeted with this message informing you that the file may not be opened because it is from an unidentified developer. If you do, head over to your Apple icon and go into your system settings, then privacy and security, then scroll down until you see the message asking you if you would like to open the file anyway. Hit open anyway, enter your password if prompted, and proceed with the installation of the software. Next, to be able to access all the features of the IVMS 4200, we'll want to ensure it has full disk access. Head back over to the Apple icon, click System Settings, Privacy and Security. Scroll down until you see Full Disk Access. Click on Full Disk Access, click the plus sign. Enter your password if prompted, then find and click on IVMS 4200 and hit Open. This will help ensure that there are no features blocked by your system. Now we're ready to set up the IVM S4200 software. Launch the application and then proceed with the registration process. This will be a login that is unique to this computer. The IVM S4200 does not carry over from system to system, so every time you install the software, you will need to create a new super user. Once you have created your super user, click register to enter the program. To add our device, we'll first go into device management. If you have devices on your network already, the IVM S4200 should detect them automatically at the bottom of this screen. Just find your device, click Add to Client, enter your user credentials, and click Add. Your recorder should now be added to your software. If your cameras have already been added to the Hike Connect service, you can also sync your IVM S4200 client to your Hike Connect account to obtain your cameras that way. Just come into Device Management, add new device type, EZVIS Cloud Device, then click OK and log in using your Hike Connect credentials. Whichever way you choose to add your cameras, we can then test them out by heading back to the control panel, then click on Main View and click on your cameras to pull up its live view. Now that you have remote viewing capabilities, let's look at some of the other features the IVM S4200 can offer. If you go back into device management, you'll notice the option for remote configuration. This will essentially function the same way as the web interface and allow for small configuration changes through your recorder. Back to the control panel, we can go into account management to set up various user accounts for the IVM S. This is useful in cases where you only want to give certain permissions, such as live view, to certain people without them having access to configuring the device. Simply hit Add User, set the user type, create their name, their password, and select the permissions they can have and hit Save. Finally, we'll look at how to export playback footage onto your computer. From the control panel, enter Remote Playback, select your camera, right-click the screen, then hit Download. Here you can download by file or download by date. Download by file will download footage that has been pre-cut into chunks, such as single motion events, while download by date will allow you to enter a specific day and time you'd like to download. When you've made your selection, just hit download and the file will begin exporting. Afterwards, you may notice that you are unable to play the file with traditional Mac media players. This is because the footage will be using a codec not commonly found in those players. In order to play them, you can install our VS Player by navigating to our website, 
hovering over Support, hover over Downloads, then click on Software. Scroll down, click View All the Tools, then select VS Player for Mac. Once again, please ensure that you select the version for Mac computers, as the Windows version will not be compatible. Like before, we'll need to grant permission for the VS Player to be installed, so head back to the Apple icon, System Settings, Privacy and Security, and scroll down to Open Anyway. Like before, grant permission when necessary, and install the software. Once installed, your videos will now be playable. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to visit our website and look through our Frequently Asked Questions section. If you have any other topics you'd like discussed in video form, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and let us know. Your feedback is important to us.